let's do a high level kind of just just chat about this and then we'll do a live demo because it, it's impressive with the live video feed and the kind of responsive controls. I was really excited about this. So this will be, there's a lot of stream decks out there. It's a very popular product. Very popular. You see them in most studios for sure. So we've got the Stream Deck Mini, the regular Stream Deck, Stream Deck Mark II, Stream Deck XL, and then the Stream Deck Plus, which we have here that has the dials. We love the tactile feel. The, the dials. dials are cool. Yeah, we love the dials. Um, it works on Windows or Mac. And this software that were released, I believe, supports almost every single feature of the brand new PTZ Optics cameras. Yep, just about every feature, yep. So pan, tilt, zoom, presets, super presets. And super presets allow you to have one button to control up to, I believe, is it four cameras for this super preset? Yeah, four cameras at once. Mm -hmm. So we'll show you how that works. The ability to turn on and off auto tracking. Um, image settings, there's, just, there's quite a lot here. Uh, different modes, OSD settings. There's a live video preview. So you can turn one of these buttons into a live video feed and then tally light status as well. Yeah. I think how many people have probably lost their IR remotes for their <laughs> BTZ cameras? At some point. A lot, sure. right? And a lot Definitely. of those people probably have a stream deck. So think about that, how easy it is now to control your on-screen menu from your stream deck if you can't find your IR remote. Um, the dials have their own special options. So with the dials, this is really, focus is, is a fun one. Uh, you know, we were just yeah. talking about how satisfying it is to yeah. twist the focus with a knob. So we love that. Uh, presets are in there. Uh, we have image settings and then live preview that can be on those dials. So um, I believe that all of these icons are included as well. Yep. Yep, those are all the actual physical buttons that are little LCD screens, if you don't know about the Elgato. Some other icons here for all the different features of the camera. Um, auto tracking being a big one, calling presets, OSD menu, super presets are shown in this. Uh, you know, it should probably have four cameras. Yeah, to show all four, yeah. <laughs> That's okay, though. Um, so, yeah. So this is the uh, this is the setup here. This is now. Do we have? I don't know if you know more about this than I do, John. Mm -hmm. Is there um, pre-configured layouts, or do you have to drop the buttons in the you way you want? You drop them? the buttons wherever you want. Okay. So this is kind of like a suggested layout, which has obviously your PTZ controls. It has your zoom options. Um, I believe that is like a forward page button at the lower right hand corner because you can set up multiple pages. So essentially, as soon as you hit that, it'll take you to another page. You could even have all of your cameras listed. Um, you could even enable auto tracking, um, snap focus as well. A lot of people want just a physical button to just snap focus. Or as Paul mentioned, you could even use the dials as well to pan, tilt and zoom or even focus. Yeah. It's super easy to drag and drop them. It's so simple. Oh, look at this one. So this is an interesting layout for color correction mm -hmm. where you've got the live video feed. Now, I'm going to be honest. If you're doing color correction, I don't know <laughs> if a one inch by one inch little button is the the screen that you want. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I don't. I think you're right. But I think it's more so, hey, this page is for this camera. I know that. And yes. then I can go to the you know, the wider screen. Well, and I'd love to know what the audience thinks on layouts and, and what the ideal layouts are because as soon as I saw this, I was like, okay, if I had the Stream Deck XL, which Mike does have over there, mm -hmm. and I had a lot of buttons, I could see camera one being a, a column, maybe the tally light status, live video, yeah. switching capabilities integrated with vMix or OBS. So it is kind of a custom thing, I think. Yeah, absolutely. It gives you, as the creator, complete control of however you like. And as you see in this image here, you could have live previews of every single one of your cameras. That's um, nice. You'll see images of them, so they're not going to be in full motion. Um, they're not like exactly meant for a live preview, but it's a great preview to see exactly which camera you have access to and control. And Mike, thanks for bringing up that question from Emmanuel about the companion version. Um, I very... I'm, very confident, I'm not 100% sure, but I believe uh, Alex, our engineer who developed this, is in the chat and he's looking for questions. Mm -hmm. um, and he's and looking to improve it for yeah, suggestions. So Emmanuel Francis is asking if there's a chance for a companion version in the near future. And 
what I'll say is there is a companion plugin now. Currently available, yeah. That's currently available. I don't think it has everything that this does. So that's an interesting perhaps next project for Alex to move on to if we have a lot of customers who might want that. So if you want it, let your voice be heard. And for those chat. who don't know, a companion app would just be like a companion to your camera to maybe stream. So what would what else would so you use? There's that? this there's a stream deck alternative called BitFocus Companion. Uh huh. And it is very similar to the stream deck. Okay. But allows you to build it into you can use a stream deck with it. Mm -hmm. um, but it basically allows you to use X key stream deck anything you want, and it has a lot better support than Elgato for like more pro AV, like projectors and oh, different sure. devices that you might want to control. Okay. Yeah. So like Paul mentioned, Alex is here. He's definitely taking everything in consideration. If you have any suggestions, uh, anything at all, let us know. And this is the iOS app, which if you want to pay for, it gives you 64 buttons on an iPad. Yeah. So six free. It works on iOS devices. So you can use this on your phone. Um, it works in the same similar way. You connect the software on your computer. As soon as you do that, the software needs to be on the same network as your phone or your uh, tablet, your iPad. And then as soon as they're connected, you can drag and drop just like you can on your Stream Deck. It's really fluid. It's really simple. And like Paul mentioned, you get six keys for free with the uh, iOS version. If you want more, you got to go through their own app store um, and uh, pay for that. But it's a great tool for anyone, even if you don't have a Stream Deck, you can download their Stream Deck app for free, have six buttons right away. The plugin is free right in our description. You can use that instantly right now today with your camera and start messing around with it on your phone right now as we speak.